hi guys in this video i want to explain into detail what is the international account standard number 28 which is about investment in associate so before we start with this chapter i want to give you a background about the standard remember you face is 28 when you are doing your group statement in the previous lesson i did i phrase 3 which is a business combination and you know what is the meaning of business combination okay i also did the i phrase 10 which followed by i phrase 3 so under business combination remember we are dealing with the company that own more than 50 percent or the company that have more power uh, than the other companies so this is the foundation of a uh, ifrs 10 when we talk about is 28 is the foundation of ifrs 10 so now the question is if the company is owing less than 50 percent which standard do we have to refer if the company does not have a control or does not have power over the other company which standard do we have to refer now today you are going to get the answer we have to refer to IS 28 and check if the requirements meet the IS 28. Okay, so simple means that when we talk about IS 28, we are talking about the company that own shares which is less than 50%. It must be a 49 or less. Basically, in normal circumstance, if you are not given any other information, the percentage must be between 20% to 49% percent so if the company is owning such percent simply mean that the company does not have a power or control but the company have what we call it a significant influence simple as that okay now the question is what if the company own 19 percent in other cases you will find that the company is owing is owning a 19 percent but has a significant influence that case is the case where you will be given additional information that they stipulated that the companies has agreed that even though the companies are owning 19 percent it will have a significant influence which means that such transaction it will we will recognize it in terms of is 28 so this is what we are going to do today so please guys make sure that you like this video if you haven't yet subscribed please guys make sure that you subscribe so that this channel will grow okay then let's go to our example okay uh, we're going to deal with the example of investment that has been made in vendor limited then on 1 July 2020, Zulu Limited acquired 2,300 ordinary share in Venda Limited for amount of 250,000. Then Wimpy Limited is an error, guys. It's a Venda Limited. We don't have Wimpy, Wimpy Limited in this case. Venda Limited had a total of 10,000 ordinary shares in issue on 1 July 2020. So. In this case, this company has been purchased during the year. Okay, you have to take note of that. Then they said vendor limited retaining earnings is seven hundred thousand. Then ordinary share capital was two hundred thousand. Okay. Then below is an extract statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income for the year ended the thirty one December twenty twenty for vendor limited. Statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income for the year ended 31 December 2017. Okay, we have been given profit before tax, income tax expense, profit for the year, then total comprehensive income. Okay, then additional information on 31 December 2020, it was determined that Zulu Limited at 45,000, of which 50% were purchased from vendor limited at a markup of 20 percent on cost so this transition is about inventory which we purchased from vendor limited okay then dividends paid by vendor limited to zone limited amounted to 45 
thousand. Okay, then the limited paid uh, Zulu limited an amount of thirty five thousand for dividends paid. Okay, then required number one, they said briefly discuss above transition how you should recognize the purchase of vendor limited on 31 December 2020. Then hint your discussion should be strictly on I phrase nine. Number two, prepare the general entry to recognize the purchase of vendor limited and uh, at 31 December 2020. Then narration are not required okay the first part we are going to discuss how we are going to recognize the tra the above transition number two we are going to prepare the general entry okay let's start by discussing now before we start our discussion we have to determine is this transition in terms of is28 or is this transition in terms of i first 10 that's the first question okay in this case we, we are not given any percentage which means that we must first calculate a percent and check whether it will be in terms of is28 or it will be in terms of i phrase 10. okay then zulu limited acquire 2300 ordinary share out of total of 10,000. if you say 2300 divide by 10,000 multiply by 100 you it will give you 23 percent okay let's go to discussion part okay under a discussion part the first point of course we're going to say zulu zulu limited purchase three percent you, you can also show those calculations that i was saying to vendor limited okay then bullet number two now we have to link it with the principle okay in terms of i phrase three and i phrase ten in order in order for company to have a, a control or power must own 50% or more okay besides that guys remember it's only it's not only the percentage that show that this company is control over the other company or must have the power to control important function for example it must be controlling a finance if the company is controlling a finance guys the, that company have, have a what have a power remember if you you are the one who is holding money for for for, for, for a stock fail if you run away which means that the stock fail is over which means that you have a power even though your share is less than 50 percent okay which means that now on on this first principle that we lay down you're going to conclude that in our case Zulu Limited does not have any control. Zulu Limited does not have any control or power. And in addition, remember they never specify anything that Zulu 
uh, control the other function like uh, uh, finance they never say that which means that we're going to assume that zulu limited does not have what a power which means that okay now we have to introduce in terms of is28 in terms of is28 a company must own 20 a percentage between 20 to 49 in order to have a significant influence okay we have laid down in terms of is28 now we have to comment in terms of is28 of course we are going to say zulu limited is 23 percent of course zulu limited f a what a significant influence in terms of is 28 which means that we're going to conclude that this transaction is from part of is 28 this is the discussion that you have to write when you answer that question the first question okay then again remember guys in terms of is 28 zulu limited will not consolidate remember we only cons consolidate in terms of i price 10 if you own less than 50 percent you will be not required to to consolidate simple as that okay we have answered the first question so this is what how you should answer the third question make sure that uh, you lay down the principle you comment according to the principle that you lay down then you proceed if you do that uh, you're gonna find that the test is very simple and straightforward okay please make sure that when you discuss don't write all the point in one uh, sentence because you are going to to write only three point out of ten and you, you you won't be able to to in full max okay then now let's proceed to the next question okay the next question they said we have to do a, to do the recognition in journals okay then the first journal that we have to do of course remember they purchase or they invested to venda limited during the year the first transaction we have to show investment okay they invested the amount of 250 thousand okay let's first recognize this transaction remember guys uh, elimination is part of i phrase 10 don't mix up things okay even though we we do partially uh, in terms of is 28 we're gonna show that we show that uh, when when we do the the other jena okay investment of course is going to increase our assets investment in associate then is sfp then the amount on the debit side is 250 thousand okay then on the credit side we pay the amount of course it must be a bank okay our bank will be on the credit side 250 thousand okay then let's move to the next one guys uh, before you go to additional information know that the first transaction you recognize investment the second transaction you record a dividend the third transaction you record profit share okay or before we go to a dividend let's start with a profit share okay so how are you going to do a profit share 
you firstly have to check if the company has made any profit during the year. Let's check. We've been given income statement for Fender Limited. Yes, they make a profit. They have a profit for the year of 299980 uh, Okay. Now the other thing that you have to check, remember guys, the profit share is only the percentage that you owe. How many percent does uh, did we purchase? We only purchased 23 percent, which means that we're gonna get share of 23 percent of that profit. Okay, also remember, you can't just come and invest for one month and in the profit for the whole year, which means that we have to do what a pro rata of counting a month. When did we invest? We invest on 1 July, which means that we must come from 1 July until 31 December 2020. Okay, let's go to our journal. Okay, of course, profit share is going to increase what? Our investment. Investment in associate. Okay, it's SFP. Then we credit profit share. We credit profit share. This one is PNL, guys. Remember, we we record income on the credit side. Okay. So the the if the important part on this one, I have to show you the calculation. Oh, how are you going to show the calculation? Okay. You're going to open the brackets and say. One million two hundred and ninety-nine and nine hundred and eight. Okay, then you multiply by a twenty-three percent. Okay, then we do a pro rata of six out of twelve. Okay, if you all you calculate all this, it will give you the amount of. Hundred and forty nine thousand and four hundred and ninety eight, and you do the same this side one forty nine four ninety eight. Simple as that, okay. Then the next one, of course, we have to recognize a dividend, okay. If they pay the dividends, of course, our investment will go down. Our investment will go down. Investment in associate. If you require to draw a balance sheet, of, of course, you are going to subtract into a balance sheet uh, inside the brackets. Okay, I think the dividend amount was clearly given on transition number two. They said dividends paid by Vendor Limited to Zulu Limited is thirty five thousand, which means that you're just going to write thirty five thousand. Okay. Then let's go to additional information number one. Then they said thirty one December twenty twenty, it was determined that Zulu Limited has uh, forty five thousand, of which fifty percent were purchased from Vendor Limited at a markup of twenty percent. On cost, okay, guys. Uh, remember, this transaction is about inventory. There is some words that is omitted on this transaction. So, Zulu Limited um, is inventory which were purchased from Vendor Limited. So, in this transaction, I want to show you how you should eliminate inventory in terms of IS28. Because it's not the same as what you have to do in terms of IFRS 10. Okay, so it's a closing balance, guys. A closing balance, you know that, okay, you you say cost, cost of sales, and you credit inventory. So if you say opening balance, you start by retaining innings and you credit cost of sales. Okay, then now, Remember, they said it's a forty-five thousand of inventory. Let me show conclusion this side. It's forty-five thousand of inventory. Then multiply by 
fifty fifty percent. Okay, remember they said it's only fifty percent that we purchase from from inside the group, inside the inside the the investment between Zenda and Zulu is only 50%. The rest we don't eliminate. Okay. Then, after that, the markup they said is 20%. And we only eliminate a profit, which means that we have to look for, for a profit. Which is 20 over 120. Why over 120? Remember, they said the, the amount was included what? A profit. Okay. Then, uh, in terms of I phrase 10, we just el eliminate it like this. Okay, however, in terms of IS28, you have to multiply by the percentage that you you purchase or that you own because we are not allowed to eliminate the, the, the amount of inventory in full. So that's the difference between IS28 and I phrase 10. You don't eliminate a full amount in terms of IS 28. Okay, then you're gonna get the amount of 863 and you also credit 863. So this is how you should eliminate uh, inventory in terms of uh, I, I, IS 28. Okay, now let's deal with the issue of deferred tax. How are you going to calculate your deferred tax? Remember, a normal percentage is 28%. So, very simple. When you apply a deferred tax in, in group statement, it's very simple. What you have to do, you check whether you debit PNL or whether you credit PNL. On the transition that you are doing a deferred tax. Okay, a cost of sales, of course, is P and L, and inventory is SFP, which means that your deferred tax must do a versa versa. If you debit P and L, when you go to deferred tax, debit SFP. Okay, this is what you, you, you should do. Okay. Then, and credit PNL. Remember, PNL was debited on the previous transaction. Now you have to do what? To credit it. If uh, tax, then you say it PNL. Okay, then now the calculation, of course, you are going to take 863 that you got, then you see it multiply by 28 percent, then you, you will get your amount of deferred tax. So that's how uh, you should treat uh, IS 28. A very simple standard. And very for a, a very straightforward standard. Um, I think I have explained what I wanted to emphasize in terms of this standard. So I IS28 is very simple, straightforward. Just make sure that you maintain uh, all these principles that I was uh, specifying, then you will be sorted. See you on the next video. Shop.